Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the removal strategy LIFO, which is also known as last in first out. And this removal strategy prioritizes for the product that are entered to the warehouse. Last will be removed out of the inventory first. And to manage with the removal strategy LIFO, we also need to deal with the lot and serial number for the product. We can only manage the LIFO for the warehouse locations as well as for the product category. Let's say we have just received uh, or just entered large quantities of chocolates into our warehouse. The product that is recently added to the warehouse will be removed first upon the order from the customer. So let's check how can we manage the LIFO in O270 inventory module. To manage with the removal strategy LIFO, let's get into the inventory module and we need to manage with the um, lots and serial number. So let's go on to the configuration settings to manage with the lot and serial number. And lot and serial number would allow you to track the products that are arrived into the um, warehouse or that is removed from the warehouse. So under the traceability, we have lots and serial number that will allow to get a full traceability from the vendor to the customer. So later on, we also need to manage with the storage location that would allow to uh, manage the product location in the warehouse. Now we can only manage the uh, removal strategy for the location as well as for the product category. So under the uh, configuration menu, you can find the locations and here we are going to manage the um, yeah removal strategy uh, as LIFO uh, for the warehouse stock and uh, let's consider the product chocolate bar and here we can choose a product uh, chocolate bar and which is a type of storable product it has a price of ten dollar and a cost of five and we will be managing this inventory based on loads so you can just set the traceability based on loads over here and we have said that and let's move on to the general information now we can also manage the um yeah removal strategy for the product uh that is uh, we can set the uh, removal strategy as lifo for the product also i mean uh for for the product category also now let's move on and let's see how lifo works so first we need to input uh the stock uh so for that you can just move on uh, to the purchase module because we need to purchase the item uh, to the stock. So here I'm going to purchase the item from the vendor Azure Interior who is um, a loyal vendor. So we are the frequent purchaser from um, Azure Interior. So here I need uh, 10 quantity. So I'll be giving 10 as the quantity that is required and let's save this uh, quotation and confirm the order now uh, let's try to receive the order into the stock so when you just click on receive here you can see that we need to give a load number over here so i'll be choosing the load number um over here which is l uh 101 and let me save this Later on, uh, let's validate because we have just given the lot number and we know we are going to manage the product based on loads. Now let's uh, see the on hand quantity of the product. So as you just move on to the product here, you can find that we have currently on hand uh, quantity as 10. Now let's purchase another uh, product. Uh, I mean the same product. Uh, so let me discard everything and let's create a new quotation first. Here let's choose the same vendor itself and uh, let's create uh, an order for dark chocolate itself with five quantity. Um, and let's save this and confirm the order. And let's receive. So we need to provide a load number for this. So here I'll be providing the load number uh, as okay L102 and let's save this and after that validate so that you can see that now the on hand quantity will be changed into 15 quantity. Now all set. So we have generated uh, loads also. And if you want to view the loads of this particular product, you can just move on to the loads or serial number where you can find uh, the load and serial number as generated for dark chocolate. And you can see that 
that product is stocked in warehouse stock. So if you want to get further details, you can see the on-hand quantity for this uh, load will be 10. And uh, you can also see that the on-hand quantity of this load will be 5. And uh, altogether, we have 15 quantity uh, of product uh, through purchases. Now we have just received an order from the customer for 6 quantity of um, the chocolate. So let me choose the customer over here. So wood corner is a customer. So wood corner require dark chocolate with six quantity. So as per the uh, removal strategy of LIFO, the product that received into the warehouse last will be removing out of the uh, inventory or from the warehouse uh, first. Okay. So LIFO means last in first out. So let me choose this and save uh, everything. So let's confirm and here you can see the delivery operation and let's validate that. So here, when you just validate, we have just done with the delivery. So as you just move on to the hamburger icon here, you can see that we will be taking the five quantity of product that is entered to the warehouse last. So we know um, L. 102 is the product uh, that is the load number with five quantity of product is entered to the warehouse last and uh, here L101 uh, actually had 10 quantity as the customer only demands for six quantity five quantity will be taken from the lot last uh, product with the load number L102 and one quantity from L101 so this is how we manage with the uh, LIFO in Odoo 17 inventory module so i hope this video clarifies how to use the removal strategy before in auto sentry inventory module so if you require any auto customization or require any specific videos regarding auto please do be free to contact site process so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video